Hi, Sagittarius. I'm Brenda, and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly angel tarot card reading for the week of November the 30th to December the 7th. I can't believe I'm saying December. The celebration season is coming upon us so, so very fast, and people are out there already scurrying around, keeping very, very busy trying to get all their uh, things that they need to get done before then. I also have a celebration gift for you, my friends. If you would like to go to my website here, uh, www.brendatarot, uh, spelled T-A-R-O dot info, and you will notice that I have discounted my readings, the 30, the, the 45, and the 60-minute readings by 25%. This is my gift to you for the month of November and all of December. Uh, I hope you enjoy that gift, my friend. Thank you for tuning into my channel. For all the subscribers that have come in to me, leaving behind wonderful, kind, and positive comments. And for all the people booking readings with me, you truly are a gift and a blessing to me. We start our week, Sagittarius, with an air card on Monday, and this is the Six of Air. Now, air cards uh, are can bring in little worries and concerns into our lives in the form of uh, communication, justice, injustice, and often legal issues. This is telling me now that you're finally at the end of a difficult situation, some of you, and that things are going to now start looking up for you. Uh, it's a good time for you on Monday. And also it's telling me that some of you are taking a trip over water or in a boat. On Tuesday, you've been given an Earth card, my friend, and this is the Nine of Earth. I have to tell you, you have four Earth cards here uh, in this reading this week, and so the Earth cards have to do with the material part of our life. This is telling me that some of you are actually enjoying the little luxuries in life that you've worked hard for, and that now you need to spend time alone within yourself and, you know, basically do this and say, wow, I finally uh, achieved what I've been working hard for, and, uh, you, and justifiably so. You you deserve it, my friend. Um, it's a successful time for people also that are self-employed and have their own business. On Wednesday, crowning your week, here is your second uh, of four Earth cards. This one is the Two of Earth, and it's telling me that there's actually too much going on right now and that you need to make a decision. There's a decision that you have to make, and you need to consider it in a more playful uh, manner. Take a playful approach to this decision um, when you go to make it. It's showing me that you're, some of you are very, very busy on Wednesday. On Thursday, <clears throat> excuse me, you've been given the Ace of Earth. And the Ace of Earth is all about abundance coming in, um, an inflow of it coming into some of you. And uh, some of you are um, in um, a business venture right now. Know that it is a promising one, uh, one that's going to work out for you. There will be some important documents and contracts that you're going to be involved in and having to sign with that business venture. On Friday, my friend, you've been given another one. Uh, here's your fourth and final Earth card. This is the Queen of Earth. This is all about making time for those around you, but when you do, you need to take a sensible approach to it. Um, deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. So when you're taking time for those around you, there may be some issues going on uh, that you weren't uh, aware of, and they can be a bit challenging, and you just need to uh, take a breath and deal with them and be a little more patient. On Saturday, my friend, a water card. Your one and only water card here, Sagittarius, the three of water. <coughs> this is telling me that for some of you are going to be experiencing um, an event, and it's going to be like a celebratory event. It can be a wedding, a graduation, or perhaps a birth announcement of a child. But nonetheless, you're going to receive either an invitation to it or you already have, and you're going to go because the universe is telling me that you need to have more fun, my friend. On Sunday, great card. Ending your week with the chariot. The chariot's all about a big congratulation. It's an important achievement that some of you have done. And the only reason that you've accomplished this is because it's been brought on by your own sheer willpower and determination. Um, sit back and smile at what you've accomplished. Um, it was a great leap of faith for some of you, and you're actually going to get some recognition, almost to the point of public recognition, they're telling me, in the form of maybe a promotion or an award. This card also... Uh, indicates travel because it is the chariot and many different 
modes of travel, many different vehicles that you're going to be uh, using and in and on. Now, at the end of the week, I did incorporate Sagittarius, that one oracle card, and my guide sent me this. Release and surrender, my friend. This is all about um, letting go, uh, releasing anything that you shouldn't be harboring, you shouldn't be holding within yourself, any, uh, any ill feelings, any unhappiness, any, any grieving, any, um, any, any harmful emotions that you are keeping within yourself. You need to release and surrender them. Um, your angels are going to shower you with blessings of radiant love. Open your arms and release the challenges that, you, that have held you tightly gripped within your hands. Let them go. Send them out into the universe. Get rid of them. Open your hands, arms, and heart with love, and they will be there to assist you. Your guides, your guardian angels are around you all the time. And this is a message from them to say, we're here to cover your back. Please let these go. Surrender and release any of this that you don't need to burden yourself and carry anymore because they're going to help you out with it. I wish you a great remainder to today, Sagittarius, and a wonderful optimistic week to look forward to. Again, I leave you with another quote, and the quote that I chose today is, Never be afraid of your voice for honesty and truth and compassion. Raise your voice to these things, okay? Against injustice, lying, and greed. If people all over the world would do this, it would change the earth. Have a great day, and I'll see you again next week. And know that I continue to stand in the circle of light for you, my friends.